About 10 years ago we started looking for perennial legumes that might be adapted to the poor soils of WA and the changing climate and Lebecchia is one that's emerged as the most interesting of all those legumes we found. Well, Lebecchia is a shrub legume, grows about knee high uh, and it's a herbaceous plant above ground and woody below ground. Yes, we're trying the Lebecchia here on the, the deep Christmas tree sand as it's or silver loam as it's known and um, it's, it's a problem soil and there's, there's a huge amount of it in the, in the South West Catchment Council um, catchment area and there's, there's a, currently there's a very limited options for this sort of soil and, and mostly it just gets left and not farmed um, and because it's the main recharge source for underground water tables um, something needs to be done to use the water up. At last we found a, a perennial legume that'll uh, grow on the very poorest soils we've got. Uh, it'll persist over summer, won't drop its leaves, and it'll provide uh, both uh, grazing and shelter for, for, for sheep. Uh, it'll grow on those sands where Tagazasti grows, but unlike Tagazasti, you won't have to cut and carry, so you'll be able to graze it and, uh, and use it through the uh, autumn winter feed gap. It's leguminous, it produces high quality forage for animals, fixes nitrogen, uh, so it ticks all those boxes that legumes do. I don't know anyone who's made profitable use of these soils in the past. I know scientists have been trying for probably 20 years or more to look at uh, improving the options available for these soils and I think, I think this, uh, this option of Lebecchia is about as, exci as exciting as we've got. Well the main driver of the project's been John Howson from Murdoch University and he's included some of the students and, and, um, um, and staff at, at Murdoch University and they're the ones that are, that are doing the science and the science is the important bit. Our previous research has shown us that at the end of winter, early spring is the best time to establish so we're looking at times of sowing but through uh, August, from the beginning of August through to the middle of September. How deep to sow it, how dense to sow it. The program that the South West Council's funded us to do is to look at how quickly and how much the fertility builds up underneath Lebecchia and in the presence of Lebecchia and what you can see here is uh, this is the four year old stand, it's starting to senesce actually, it's starting to die off but the fertility has been built up to the point where the cape wheat and the barley grass and the rye grass are doing exceptionally well. This has had low fertility. Uh, only a small application of P and K four years ago, uh, but the plants from our soil analysis, the Lebecchia is, is improving the carbon content and the P and K nutrition of the soil underneath it and to depth. So we're hoping that a four or five year phase of Lebecchia will improve the fertility of this soil to the point where it can be much more profitable for either cropping or animal enterprises.